Hey everybody and welcome back to Embird Studio. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be working on something cool. I'm trying to go through Embird and find tools that people don't talk about or they don't notice or they don't use very often and just kind of bring them up to people's attention so we can have a better understanding. Embird has a lot to offer. There's a lot of tools. There's a lot of everything. It's just a matter of finding it. So let's get started, why don't we? We're going to first talk about nodes and working with nodes. So I'm going to pick an open shape. Now, the first thing, I just put a node down. The first thing, here's where we're going to be working. So it's kind of cool. So this one is middle point first. And I've actually never used it. I found it today and I'm like, yeah, that is really cool. So the middle point is the curved point. So normally when we digitize, you put a one point and the curves in the middle and you pull it out in the next point. You see how that works on everyone. If you have this clicked, look, look what happens. This is the middle point and this is the end. So you can actually place the middle point, um, which I thought was really cool. It depends on how you do it. I sometimes like pulling them out, but I think if I was trying to digitize on a curve, I would like that quite a bit. See how nicely that goes? So that's the first one and it is called middle point first. So you can still adjust them after you place them, but it just kind of changes how we do it. And I kind of like it. I thought it was pretty neat. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's take that off so we don't get confused. The second one is snap to work area edges. Now that would just snap everything. Your work area is basically your hoop area. So it'll snap everything over, which means if we pull it here, whoops, if we pull it here, and let's put that one on. So click it and a check mark shows that's how you're on. Then it's going to snap it's hard to see. Hopefully I can zoom in. So a snap, it's not going to snap from here. It's not going to snap from here. You get it closer and you see how it jumped. That's what it's going to do. So you have to be close enough. But if you keep it like this, look, it stays straight on the edge. So if you want something on the edge, that is how it's done. So that one's cool. What's the next one? Snap to guidelines. Well, let's pull out a guideline. And to pull out a guideline, you go into your ruler. See how my uh, pointer changed? It's now across and you can see that there's dotted lines there. That's how you pull it out and you let go. Sorry, left click and hold and then let go and the guideline is red. So I would encourage everyone to use guidelines. They are really handy. So make sure you keep dragging it. So if you want to line something up, if you're putting a whole bunch of lettering, that's how you can do it. So we've got, let's put it on there, snap to guidelines. So again, with the snapping, it's going to go close to it and then snap on and it's going to stick to the guidelines. Again, it's not going to snap from here. It's not going to know that you want it to go to that one. So you're going to have to pull it closer, but then it does snap to it just a little bit. So snap to guidelines, still pretty cool. You got to make sure you have guidelines. When you want to get rid of your guidelines, you just grab them and kind of toss them out the side, I call it, and they're gone. So what's the next one? Snap to nodes. So you can snap to other nodes if you want to get it right on to see how it snaps. So that one's pretty handy too. How about I turn it on? Then it'll snap. There we go. Yep, it snapped. So that's that's pretty cool if you're doubling back and you don't use the tool for that. You can snap it to other nodes and that works just fine. I never have that one on, but maybe I should. So this one is snap to grid. Now, if you don't have a grid, you're obviously going to have to put one up and it will snap to the grid lines, uh, which you can set up and you can change. So it depends on how big you want them. See how it snaps? That's actually a pretty good snap. It shows you. 
and it'll snap to all of the grid lines. So if you're trying to line up stuff again, that's a super handy one. And uh, again, if you wanna change your grid, this one seems quite large. Um, if you want to change your grid, you can. So snap away. It's kind of handy. Just remember if you have it on, because if you're working and you put a, a node like here and it snaps over to here, you know, or closer if you're zoomed in um, and you wonder why, it's because you've got the snap two on it. And this one is snap to object edges. Now, I don't have another object up here, but if we did, we could drag this to the other object and it's gonna snap to the edge of it. So again, you have to have it pretty close. Um, but super handy, all of them. I don't think I've ever used the last one, but I've used uh, a few of them. I really like this. I really think uh, how to plot the points so you can plot the middle point and then you can still manipulate it. I kind of really like that one. I think it's cool. A few more clicks on it is the only downside, but we're trying not to click too many times, I think. So yeah, either way, it's, it's nice. And I think it's a cool way of doing it. I think that's really neat. You can also change that, by the way. Whoops activate the last one. You can also change that. So if you see what I did there, there's a little drop down. So you could do lines with curves and that's what we're used to. And it puts the curve in the middle. Or if you're not having any curves, you can just do straight lines. Now, I'd like to point out just a little quick tip here. You see this arrow? That shows direction. So if you ever get lost, you can tell which way you were going, which way you need to go. See, it shows like that. Just a little something to watch. So now I can do all straight lines. So hopefully you guys will start using some of these. I kind of like the first three. I'm not, I don't ever snap to grid, but you know what? If you were doing something that you needed to, now you know how to do it. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will use some different tools tools in Ember that you haven't used before and just try them out and check it out and hopefully it'll make your digitizing easier. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video to let me know you want more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!